Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today you join me in the wonderful world of Plants vs. Zombies, oh my goodness. Now this game best be bringing back a fair bit of nostalgia for some of you, because this bad boy, if you could believe it, was released in 2009. It's one of the greatest games of all time, and today I'm going to show you how you can even still exploit it right up until this day. That's right, 12 years later, this bad boy is still a broken and balanced mess, but we absolutely love it nonetheless. So without further ado, make sure you're sat back, relax, you have a nice warm cup of Yorkshire tea in hand, and if you're feeling especially fantastic, you can even like the video now. Let's dive into it. Oh, welcome to the nostalgia zone. This is glorious. I mean, this is an insane amount of nostalgia, personally for me. I haven't played this game in about a decade, and here I am. It's fantastic. Fun fact to make some of you feel very old, this game was released in 2009, which of course means that people who were born after this game could potentially be as old as 12 years old, which is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's insane how old this this game is and yet how fun it is. It truly is a glorious experience. Now, in order to get that nostalgia flooding through your veins, let me crank up the music so you can get a full ear blast of this high quality audio. Oh, damn, what a bop. We be jiving. Oh yeah. Now I can, I can drink cups of tea to this. This is, woo, a jam. Oh yeah, you take it on that low bit. Oh wow. What a great game. Now I'm playing on a brand new save, which means we need to make a Zombitar because, you know, this is the OG customization from way back in the day. And arguably this looks better than 74% of the NFTs out on the market. And oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, I've created it. I have made art. Look at my boy. Oh, he's perfect. Oh yes, right, we'll finish this bad boy up. Yes, I'm done. A JPEG image has been added to my desktop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh dear, that's amazing. Oh, he's glorious. Now let's start a brand new adventure as we've got to play Plants vs. Zombies. Now, if you don't understand the very principles of this game, it's very simple. You play as a lovely person trying to survive in the zombie apocalypse and your only weapon to defend your lovely property is a gigantic quantity of mutated nightmare plants. It's very simple. We have our lovely little bit of turf. We have a pea shooter that can shoot at zombies and it is as simple as that. We then collect currency using the sun just like plants do, and then we will be placing ourselves even more plants to defend our house. Right, and now the zombies are coming. Here they are. Oh, they're very angry. They're after our brains. These are classical zombies. Now it's going to take quite a few shots from the peas in order to actually kill the zombies. And of course, the sounds of peas hitting zombies is the kind of same wet slap of misery that you get from punching a raw chicken. Right, we're going to add another pea shooter in just to really increase our firepower. And oh yes, now we're looking good. Now it's time for the final wave. Oh no, two zombies coming at the exact same time. That's terrifying. Luckily, we will survive this today. And there we go. Not only did we survive, but we've also gotten ourselves a new plant. It's a sunflower, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, these bad boys generate wealth. But now on level two, things have become more challenging as we have to defend three different layers. But luckily this sunflower, it generates us money. It's not too expensive and it will keep us surviving in this horrific apocalypse. Oh, there we go. Another sunflower is now ready. And now we can start building up our defensive line. Ah, the wet slaps of zombie on plant action. Mmm, it's glorious. Now, you might be thinking, how on earth can you actually exploit a game that is about placing down plants and defending your home from zombies, you know, like most standard games? And the interesting thing is that you can actually exploit it surprisingly easily. Because, like most games, this game has currency. And if money exists, then I can have it. As is pretty much guaranteed for all English people. Oh my goodness, here comes my boy! Look at him! Oh, he's beautiful. Yes, that's that's right, sadly we have to kill him, but nonetheless that's fine. Uh, murdering yourself in a video game, it's uh, it's always a fun thing to do. And there we go, that's level 2 complete, and we've unlocked the cherry bombs. These bad boys are very angry. Oh no, we've got some tougher zombies coming our way now, but don't worry, we'll be able to fight them. Oh wow, now we have the next generation of zombies on their way. That's right, it's zombie with traffic cone on head. Truly an arch enemy for the ages. My goodness, is he strong. He can take at least an extra few hits hits. Okay, right. Now we're going to put some uh, cherries down because why not? We might as well blow up the uh, annoying zombies and then prep ourselves for the glorious final wave of undead. The final wave is here led by none other than the greatest person in the universe. I'm of course talking about me. Now, sadly, I just wasted the cherry bomb, but it's completely okay. We should be able to weather the storm relatively happily just using our glorious pea-based firepower. And that's level three complete. We've unlocked the shield, also known as the potato, the bountiful heart of any 
Irish-based economy. It works fantastically against zombies because not only is it delicious, it's also nutritious, and consequently it slows zombies down using its incredibly tasty body. Building up our glorious defenses and economy for the inevitable zombie tide, but now that we're armed with potatoes, oh my, we're going to last a lot longer. Now we're going to put the potato to work to actually defend against uh, this traffic cone zombie. Uh, now the potato is a happy smiley boy. Uh, he won't be happy for too long because his job is to be eaten to death, uh, which is of course very upsetting for some, but the potato, he just gloriously accepts his role in society. It is not a noble job to be the potato that is eaten by the undead, but it is a valiant and important job. I realize that technically this is a walnut, not a potato, but I would like to say that throughout the entirety of playing this game, I never read that and I genuinely have believed that for all this time this was not a nut and in fact a potato. <laughs> Surely I can't be the only one to think that. Please tell me I'm not mad. It just looks like a potato. Anyway, it's time for the final wave. Let's get all of those last few zombies through. And by that, I mean we're going to blow them up with a cherry bomb, my friends. So we'll just let the zombies make a little bit of process and then just blow them up. Fantastic, glorious stuff. Oh, and fantastic. We finally got ourselves a shovel. Lovely. Now we can finally dig up and sell plants. Oh, and here's Crazy Dave. Lovely. This is also the shop vendor for the entirety of the game who we're going to be scamming. Oh, I love Crazy. Crazy Dave. Right, now we're going to start digging these plants up because uh, they're in the way. And now our job is very simply to do bowling. Uh, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting game. Um, oh, we can have an exploder nut over here. Sure, that seems fun. Right, exploder nut, go! Fantastic. Ah, uh, yes, because of course it's plants versus zombies and playing the game the way it's intended would be strange when instead you can just play bowling. Oh, we can send out an exploder nut over here. This will do good work. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, this is just glorious. Glorious, valiant fighting and oh dear, now we actually have a lot more zombies coming our way. Well, that's fine. We can just bounce that one up there like so. Send that one in and bounce it up and again again maybe try it from the other side and oh dear there's an even larger final wave of zombies approaching apparently and there we go fantastic we've cleared the level and we got ourselves a landmine as a fantastical prize yep it's a potato mine why why I, I just thought two things in the game were potato is that generally how i felt whilst playing this game i just thought they added two potatoes anyway let's get planting we've got a game to play now with one zombie on the way we could deal with it normally but instead we're going to put down a landmine and instead spend our time growing our economy base. Wait, did that zombie just eat the landmine? It did, didn't it? I'm such a potato. I need to put it down and give it time to grow. And there we go. Fantastic. The potato has grown. The landmine is ready to explode. All right, well, our first landmine is about to detonate to a very, very poor, unfortunate zombie that isn't quite aware of what he's going to be stepping on. And, well, bam, he's dead. Lovely, glorious murder has occurred. Oh, I want to protect that landmine. I must protect that landmine. Yes, you see, the landmine is able to jump over a potato, which makes him a nightmare. But still, he can be murdered. All right, we're going to have this jumper pole vault over a uh, sunflower because that'll really slow him down. And then come on, potato, get ready. Grow, potato, grow. No, don't be eaten. Yes. Oh, you glorious explosive suicidal boy. Ah, the glorious wet slaps of progress. Now this is true gameplay. Okay, the final waves of zombies are approaching now. This is fantastic. I've got my next landmine out. I have a cherry bomb ready whenever. You know what? I think now is the time. Let's get that bomb down. And we'll bam. There we go. We've cleared up the map a bit. And fantastic. We've completed the level and got ourselves a nice frozen pea shooter. Welcome to map 10 of level 1. It's gonna be a spicy time as we've just been informed by the endless waves of the undead that they intend to launch an all-out attack on us which means we must valiantly defend ourselves from the spooky boys and we will do so to a glorious level of success because I am of course in charge and consequently great things are afoot. We're gonna be slowing the zombies, shooting the zombies, you name it we're gonna be attacking them with it including potato mines, my personal favorite it. All right, and now we have a huge wave about to be on the way. Uh, this is going to be quite a fun challenge, but luckily we have ourselves a cherry bomb and we can also start building some potatoes down. So let's just drop this bomb in right about here so that we can have it land, drop down a pea shooter and also, oh my goodness, look at the waves of the undead. Let's start clearing out the map just a little bit. Now, of course, seems like a perfect time to place a landmine as well, of course. Oh, wow, this is quite a large quantity in the ranks of the undead, although I think we have started to clear it out pretty successfully. Oh, yes, look at this glorious his battle line of peas. Oh, I just want to hear the sound. Let me hear the sound of the peas. Oh, yes. Oh, the meaty slaps of victory. Oh, it's fantastic. Absolutely glorious indeed. Yes, I will have total victory over the zombies and the undead. Ah, oh, it will be my victory. Right, and here we go. The final wave is about to be afoot. Let's see if we can get one more landmine down before the start of the 
final wave. And here they come, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll have him jump over and hit a landmine. It's time for us to unleash our glorious defense of our home. You will not have my home. Ah, yes, the Explodinator achievement. Oh, glorious total victory. We have done it. And with that, we finally have access to the lovely tiny little mushroom. Ah, tiny little short range spores that do hardly any damage. And there we go, it's Crazy Dave, he's back. All right, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Now we finally unlocked the ability to play mini games. And this is where I like to pull off my favorite exploit in the entirety of the series. Now, there's a fair few ones, which are, of course, absolute classics, like, for example, Infinite XP in some of the later Plants vs. Zombie games, which admittedly, some of them kind of turn into Call of Duty, but for children, and yet also not children. They're surprisingly fun games. Not personally my cup of tea, but I hear fantastic things about the Garden Warfare series. Nonetheless, let's exploit the game that we have in front of us. And so for that, we need to play some mini games. Now, mini games are very fun. We got a few options here, a slot machine and walnut bowling. Now, we're going to play walnut bowling, which is everyone's favorite game mode here and just quite simply wail on out a few of these lovely walnuts there we go wabam we got another flawless shot and oh we just missed it oh dear now these Explodo Nuts are pretty much going to guarantee us a very easy waltz through this lovely minigame. And as you can see in the bottom left of the minigame, we actually have our total financial gain that we have. As you can see, we have 4,390 gold in our bank. That's pretty good and it's going to increase as we continue playing this lovely little minigame. But it won't be absolutely perfect. No, 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 no. That's going to take some time. So instead in those scenarios, that's where video game exploits come into the picture to allow us to generate infinite money. Money. Now we're gonna play one of these mini games. This mini game right here is also known as gambling, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. We just need 2,000 sun to pass the level, and bam, there we go. Well, that's uh, not enough. We're gonna have to pull the lever again because we desperately need finances. Now we luckily get a free plant because we managed to get a little bit of money there, but we're going to need a lot to win this game. Oh, we got a diamond, which is one grand. That's pretty good, but it's not enough to win. We just gotta keep cranking that handle until we win this mini game it's just like gambling which of course everyone loves well now we have a sunflower so we can gamble more yay oh it's fantastic and a whole bunch of pea shooters lovely come on i've just got to keep spinning i must keep spinning it is the only way to succeed in life is to gamble ladies and gentlemen yes ah yes we got a nut lovely nutritious and tasty nut I can't keep spinning. Give me more money. Give me money. I need finance generation. Oh my goodness, a diamond jackpot. Okay, right. This is going to give us a stupidly large amount of money. Um, up to 10,800 cash, as you can see in the bottom left. Now, this cash is very important. You need it to upgrade certain items in the game. Mostly increase the amount of plants that you can bring into each level. It makes the game remarkably easier if you have money, just like real life. So naturally, we want to make sure we have as much money as possible at all times. Times. Oh, even more sun lovely. We can gamble more. Oh, it's fantastic. Yes, my descent into gambling madness is perfect. But sometimes one must gamble slightly if they want to exploit their way through life. And that's exactly why I have myself a lovely auto clicker set up on the lever and a nice warm cup of tea in front of myself. Mmm, tasty, lovely tea. Oh, and yes, more sun, lovely. More sun is more wealth. More wealth is more success. We must keep spinning, gloriously spinning until the end of days. It doesn't matter if I spin away current profits. I am spinning for the sake of future profits, ladies and gentlemen. Future actualizations of success. I learned this technique from the people on the Wall Street Bet subreddit, and so consequently it must be true, because I've heard their name on the news. Our lovely free sunflowers, our wealth accumulation has now just increased. Free Threefold. Today is a glorious day. Oh, and lovely, a diamond. Glorious. This is quite possibly one of the easiest ways to generate money in the known universe is to play this game. However, we can exploit it more. All we need to do is simply win. Which I know is difficult. Some of you might not know how to perform such a high level maneuver, but it's actually surprisingly easy. Ah, praise the sun. Praise the glorious sun. For we have another sunflower. Yes! Oh, we're going to be nearing 1,000 sun and that will almost be enough to win the game. But until then, we must keep spinning. Spin for victory. Oh no, a huge wave of zombies are approaching. Terrible news, but it's okay. We shall generate the sunlight so as to defeat them in glorious battle. Ah, more sun. Praise be. Why must we fight them when instead we can simply leave this godforsaken planet? All it will take is a large fiscal fortune, which guess what we just did? Oh boy, we just inherited Jeffrey Bezos' spare cash. Lovely. That was a supreme jackpot. 
Oh, and another sunflower. Lovely. This sunflower must fight on the front lines to generate its wealth for us, but it will do so valiantly and gloriously. And we've almost hit the progress where we can actually win the game. Fantastic. We are but just a crumb of wealth away from being able to have victory. A grand total of simply three sunflower seeds is enough to win. Now, in order to actually win, there we go, we've won. Uh, we're not actually going to click those suns and win the game. Instead, we're just going to leave this level. Go to the main menu, and don't worry, the game will be saved. Lovely the game has been saved now we'll go back to the slot machine game and we'll press continue we'll then click these two and win the game now as the trophies on screen simply back on out to the main menu there we go don't worry the progress will be saved play the slot machine again and when we click on our trophy we're gonna get a large quantity of money so we're bam we click on the trophy it comes on through and we're bam that's 1000 and a fair bit of cash added to our inventory lovely then we're just gonna play the slot machine again and we're gonna click to continue from where we just were and we can then click on that trophy yes yet again and gain another 1,300 gold. Fantastic. Then we can just simply repeat this process again because there's no goddamn stopping me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. It is exactly 1,250 gold every time we repeat this process, meaning you just simply need to do this process a handful of times and wabam, you've generated enough wealth to beat absolutely anything in this video game because using this wealth, you can gain yourself fiscal upgrades, ways to give yourself an advantage of your opponents. Your opponents, of course, being the endless ranks of the undead. So I don't really feel that bad for cheating because it's kind of like taking candy from a baby. If it was just an endlessly respawning baby and the candy was also endlessly tasty. But fear not, ladies and gentlemen, I'm British, which means I have absolutely no moral complex. And consequently, such a thing is definitely within my power. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've achieved $25,000. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. This is glorious profit. Fantastical success. Because why actually play the entirety of the video game the way it was intended to be played when instead you can just quite simply cheat every single thing. Oh yes, it's fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, I know it is. And the reasoning it exists is because developers back in 2009 didn't know how to use save files correctly. So consequently, you could just simply put a save file right at the end of the level and claim the reward over and over again. It's like putting a save file right down before you hand in a quest in Skyrim and then just loading that save file again and being able to get the prize again. It's fantastic and perfectly balanced. Oh, it truly is glorious. Absolutely glorious. Well, there we have it. Went up to $30,000. This is perfect. This is good progress. Fantastic progress indeed. Onwards we go again. Right, we're just up to 37000 I do believe. So we're just going to be continuing this process over and over again until I generate stupendous quantities of money. Right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Some time has passed and I have successfully uh, defeated the game. Now, how have I managed to do this. Well, I basically set up a macro which very simply went over here, clicked this, pressed continue, then clicked exactly where the trophy lands every single time, and then repeats the process over and over again. And because I've left my computer running for what has effectively been a fair few hours at this point, as you can see, we now have infinite money! Oh, yes, I love gold. If we add more gold to it, absolutely nothing happens. This is the hard cap of the game. It cannot go any higher. What can you do with all of this money? Um... Absolutely nothing at this point. It's pretty much useless, but we have it, and that's all that matters. Oh my goodness. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have played Plants vs. Zombies, and we have discovered that it is, of course, a perfectly balanced game with absolutely no exploits whatsoever, excluding, of course, infinite money, which I'm sure doesn't at all break this lovely game. So there you go. Go forth with your newfound knowledge and hopefully fantastical nostalgia for this game, because guess what? It's on sale. That's right. It's in the Steam Winter Sale. It's on sale at the moment, probably, I imagine. I don't know when this video is going out but even then it's ridiculously cheap to buy and it's a really really fun game even if you don't want to buy it on steam you can probably get a disc copy of this game for about 4p but then again that would require you actually owning a disc drive in your computer and i'm pretty sure no one other than archaic eldritch beings like myself have those anymore so maybe just grab it on steam nonetheless if you've actually ever played plants vs zombies hop on down to the comment section because i'd love to hear if you've genuinely played this game i know it exists on mobile and there's a whole bunch of different versions but which version have you played and enjoyed the most because for me this game is true nostalgia, pure happiness injected straight into my veins, just simple cathartic zombie killing and it's wonderful. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of our YouTube members and patrons who make these videos all the more possible. Seriously, thank you very much, you lovely sausages. And hey, if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now, hand chosen by myself to be absolutely perfect for you. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one where I inevitably break yet another game and I'm afraid that's goodbye for now.